Okay, so this is the very beginning of the statistics course, and we always start by um, first talking about the difference between a population and a sample. A population and a sample. Now this is very important because you need to know this for the rest of the semester. What is the difference between a population and a sample? Um, I like to call, you know, the population of the big dog. Now this is just my own version of <laughs> population. But a population could be defined in many different ways. Um, in a second, a uh, sample is a piece of the population. I'm going to say piece of pop. So every time you see pop with me, population. So for example, what I mean by that, and again, it all depends on how you define the population. Let's define the population to be all statistics students um, in the United States. Let's say that is my population. That's the big group that I want to start with. And I want a, a sample of that population. Well, um, let's say a sample of that population would be just, you know, statistics students in Florida. Notice that all statistics students in the United States, that's the big guy, that's the population, that's the big group. And a piece of that, the sample, is um, statistics students in Florida. Now, that's just one particular sample from that one particular population. You know, I could define the population to be something else. You know, it all depends on how you define your population. I could define a population to be um, statistics students in Florida alone. And then let's say a sample of that population would be statistics students, um, we'll just say, in FIU, a, spe a specific university in Florida. So the population is now defined to be, or the big dog, right, the big group is now defined to be all statistics students in Florida, and a piece of that population, um, in particular, one type of sample, would be statistics students in a particular university, FIU. Obviously, that's just one sample. There are many different samples that I could take from this particular population, just like there are many different samples I could take from this particular population. So there are many different ways that I could define a population, um, and based on how I define that population, I could take different types of samples. Okay, so that is the difference between a population and a sample, and that is very important for you to know. Now, when I talk about types of data, right, what kind of data are you going to deal with? Well, you need to know the difference between a parameter, which is a type of data, and a statistic. Now, this is not statistics, of course, this is a statistic, a particular type of data. And I put parameter underneath population for a reason, and I put statistic underneath the sample for a reason. A parameter is a value taken from or calculated from, taken or calculated, I'm just going to say calc, taken or calculated from a population. Again, I'm going to do a lot of abbreviations and statistics, so if you don't remember one thing, hopefully, you know, remind me to remind you, a pop is a population, cal calculation. A value taken or calculated from a uh, population is a parameter. A statistic is a value taken or calculated, taken or calculated, from a sample. So, all right. So let's go back to um, this example. Let's do this example here. Based on how I uh, did um, based on how I defined the population here. Statistics students in Florida and then the sample of that population was statistics students at a particular university, FIU. Let's um, talk about a parameter. So here's an example of a parameter. Let's say from this you know, example, the parameter from the population would be, let me do it like this, guys. Move that down. So let's say from this example, the parameter would be um, average salary of statistics students in Florida. 
So I'm taking a calculation average, you know, in statistics is also called a mean. So I'm calculating something, I'm taking an average, it's the value, a number, salary of all the statistics students in Florida. So I'm taking something from the population. So that value that I get, that number, let's say it's about 50,000 or whatever, that number is called a parameter. If I calculate, so the statistic here, if I calculate the average salary of statistics students at FIU, now I'm taking a number and I'm calculating it. I'm calculating the average salary of particularly this sample, statistics students at FIU. That number that I get from that, let's call it 45 grand, let's just say. Let's say that that number that I get, that's called a statistic. It comes from a sample, so therefore that number is a statistic. And a value, a number that comes from a population is called a parameter. It is very important to know the difference between a parameter and a statistic. Parameter from population, statistic from a sample. Now, there are other ways that we, you know, categorize types of data. Um, we have qualitative data. I should probably spell that correctly. We have qualitative data versus quantitative data. And this is, you know, this should come back, you know, all the way to like grade school because you talk, you talk about qualitative versus quantitative way back then. Qualitative, well, let's do quantitative first because every time I do quant, this is how I um, determine the difference. Quant reminds me of quantity. This is a numerical value, right? Numerical value. Um, numerical, you know, numbers to represent um, data. Qu quantitative data versus qualitative data, you know, is categorical data. Categorical data. So, for example, qualitative, let's say eye colors. Eye colors. So in my class, let's say in my statistics class, I go and I co uh, collect all the different eye colors. Those values, those, those, um, that set of data, blue, blue, you know, brown, whatever, green, that data is categorical. It's not numerical. It's qualitative data. If I go and I calculate, um, I don't know, let's say I take the salary of everybody in my class um, and, I, and I collect all that data. Those are numerical values. That's quantitative data. So there's different types of data, qualitative versus quantitative. Numerical data, numbers, for example, like salary, qualitative, categorical is another way to say that. Eye colors is an example. Um, you know, hair color is an example. Qualitative versus quantitative.